In this video, we are going to implement session management using Node.js and we'll be uh, most importantly using Express Session and Cookie Parser to uh, you know uh, manage sessions in Node.js. So first of all, actually we can create a new folder. Let's name that session and let's cd into session. And now you can do npm init to initialize a package log.json and let me clear the screen. And now you can do install express and we will be needing express session and uh, we will we will also be needing cookie parser and for uh, keeping the server running and uh, updating let's use nodeman as well okay the packages are installed now and what i want to do is i want to create index.js file and let's write some uh, boilerplate code first inside this so first thing I want to do is I want to call um, need I will be requiring express and after that I'd be um, creating an instance of that and name that app and for this I would be needing a port to run and uh, let's say let's run this on 5000 and let the app listen at this port and a callback function as well and let's print server at this port So let's save that. This application is going to be, um, you know, we are going to create three main routes. For the first is a login and a logout, and the third one is a get user. I mean, get the current sessions user. So you know, the user can be from database or from anywhere. But to keep uh, things simple, let me just create an user object, which is a const. So the user will be having a name. So in this case, let's say John. And he'll be having an age, let's say 18. And um, let's say he has a nationality. And let's say he's an Indian. So this will be using this user instead of uh, taking from the database because you know uh, everything is same. But I just want to keep things simple. And f f the first one, uh, before doing, before even starting uh, with the routes, I want to import these uh, modules. Let's say, uh, let's say session will be express session and uh, cookie parser would be cookie parser as well and before um, going to the roots we have to still we have to actually initialize this using the app dot use the first one I want to use the cookie parser that I just imported and I want to use express uh, session as well and this session is going to take an object We'll be initializing that with an object so that object would be so the resave option i would set that to true and save initialize uninitialized i would set that to true and we need a secret uh, let's just uh, say secret but this is actually uh, in production please uh, uh, do not include that here I'll put that in an environment variable and then just import that so okay so we are done with the initialization and now we can start uh, writing the routes so let's create our first route which is um, sorry it's app dot uh, get which is uh, i want to create a login route so it's slash login and we'll have request and response uh, what i really want to achieve in this application is that whenever a user log logs in i want to put that user into the session and whenever and throughout the session he would be um, you know the user would be staying in that session and uh, you know whenever you get the sessions user it would be returning the user that user object that we're going to put in this case uh, this is the object we're going to put and um, yeah uh, when we uh, you know log out we'll just destroy the variable we have the user object here and what i want to do is i want to put i, I just want to simply put this user object into the session variable we can do that by request dot session dot user is equals to user and I want to save this uh, what we have set now. So I would say equals your session dot save. And then I would just send um, user login. So that's it. That's the login route. And now um, what I want to do is um, I want to create another route. Let's say app get slash user. And this would return the current sessions user. 
so this is also quite simple you can just send request dot session dot user that's it I can actually return this because you don't want to go after that so yeah and the third one is also quite simple and that would be app dot get slash logout and the same request response and this time uh, what we can do is we can just say um, rest dot session um, oops request dot session dot destroy in order to just uh, destroy the session and remove the user object from uh, user and you can actually set any variable inside the session variable session uh, object not just user this can be anything you want and we can just uh, rest dot send um, user logged out that's it so you can actually do some uh, logic here in the same way you can do something here as well before you before destroying or before uh, putting the user object into the session so now we can actually test this let's open another tab here let me zoom that in and let me, let's start the service by saying uh, node more Okay, the server is at 5000 and I, w I want to test this using um, postman let's open postman now so the first thing I want to do is I want to say slash login this can actually be a post route uh, while we take the object from the body you know, then uh, use that body to set the user object we can do that but you know, I just want to keep things simple so you can just say slash login and it says the user is logged in and now if you see inside the cookies tab we can see that there is a cookie which has been created after we have logged in so that's the cookie which has been created by cookie parser or uh, you know that's a session cookie and uh, now let's try to get the user by saying slash user and let's send that And you can see that we are getting that uh, object back so that's what we need so this is a current user inside the session or the current sessions user and we can now simply log this user out by saying log out and the user has been logged out and now we can actually go and check the user once again if it has been destroyed or not and you can see that it's returning a null object so you know it's returning an empty, empty response so you can confirm that the user has been restored and yes this is how our session management is done in um, node.js if you do like the video please do subscribe share and like the video thank you